Hello and welcome to another Vocal Tip Tuesday. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about a very silly word. It is the word diphthong. Now a diphthong is when a vowel has more than one sound. Now it may seem like it only has one. For example, if you were to say place, it sounds like you're saying a. But when we're singing, it actually has more than one sound to it. A -E, place. And I think if you were to try to say that right now, place, you can feel your tongue lifting in the back when you say the last half of the vowel sound, place. So when we're singing, as you can imagine, this can create some problems for us. We can strain or feel constricted or really have to reach for a note that maybe normally we would have no trouble singing. Um, and so to create the least tension to relax, uh, we really have to be careful how we sing these diphthongs. Another example would be the vowel I, as in I, or a, a word ending in Y, like fly, fly. -y. Now, if you try that when you're speaking again, fly, -y, you can feel your tongue lifting again. You can feel it lifting in the back, and when it lifts, it does constrict the space. It closes the space in the pharynx so that there's less uh, resonance there, and it's more work getting the sound out. So a quick tip would just be to remember that that's what's happening, and to just focus and only speak or sing the very first sound. For example, if you were going to sing, um, Shout it out, but I can't hear a word you say. You can see how not only does it constrict the sound, but it also doesn't sound that good either. So I will say just a eh, instead of a e. Shout it out, but I can't hear a word you say. Obviously, I wouldn't speak that way, but when you're singing, not only is it dropping my jaw and creating the space, but it's keeping my tongue down and the space in the back of my throat open. And when an audience hears the sound, they're going to know what we're saying and it reads just fine instead of constricting the sound and maybe giving a funny ring to it or a funny sound to it. So try it out with all of your lyrics. Maybe print out a lyric sheet and circle all of the the words that might have more than one vowel sound to it. Remember, diphthong, a vowel with two sounds, a, i, -E, -E. it can sometimes even be an o or a u sound depending on the word and depending on which dialect of English you're working with. Um, classical songs probably wouldn't have this problem quite so much because a classical singer is trained to sing in all different dialects. But when you're singing pop songs, musical theater songs, anything, especially even country, because sometimes those vowels are really quite harsh and specifically stylized to that genre of music. But for any music, any song, a general rule of thumb, when you come across that, if that's your problem or you're coming across those vowels that are having a bit of a wonky sound, really just try to focus on the very first sound instead. And Comment below with all your successes. Give us some, maybe some words that you're really struggling with so we can help you out. Post some uh, video snippets of your successes and showing us how you're doing it. We'd love to hear from you. And until next time, thank you for watching and we'll see you again on Vocal Tip Tuesday.